started dating we were both 17 so I was 17 she was 17 but she's a couple months older than me so we met in school and we were really close friends before we ever started dating so I know we didn't start dating until our junior year but we started talking like at the end of my sophomore year so we were getting like closer and closer and closer so the more like closer we got the more she started opening up about like her past her family like what she doing her free time all stuff like that so when we were friends, she didn't really open up about like what been going on in her family and stuff. It took us to start dating until she started telling So she comes to tell me that her mom and her dad were separated. They were married, but then they got separated. Both of them still live in the same city, the city that we lived in, but they live in different places. So her mama lived in a house and her daddy lived in an apartment. So they, she said that they had been separated since she was about like 10 but like they was still cool like they kept contact or whatever but the reason why they had separated was because the daddy cheated on the mama and got the bitch that he cheated on. so the daddy got the woman pregnant then the daddy and the woman moved in together y'all already know how that shit go blah 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 evil stepmother shit like that so now she has an evil stepmother and she got three other siblings it's the two boys and then the sibling that's going to be on the way from the stepmom She lived with her mom, so she was there 24-7. So her and her mama would always talk about the daddy, how abusive he was, how much of a cheater he was, and how he just genuinely didn't have respect for their relationship because he didn't take time to spend time with them. So I'm thinking that they hated him. Like, he was the worst person in the world. So she wouldn't really even see the daddy that much. She would see him, like, four times in a month, four to five times in a month. So, fast forward four months into our relationship, she started talking more to her father and getting closer with him. So, so like I was saying before, she was not really close with her daddy or whatever. So, once they started talking after four months of us being together, it kind of, like, made me, like, question, like, was everything you was telling me true? Because it just seemed to me yesterday, you and your mama was talking about how much y'all hated him and how much y'all didn't like him because of the level of respect he had for you. But now y'all on the phone every night? But you know, then again, I ain't questioning it because at the same time, that's her parent. And you know, you only live once and sometimes you just want to get close to that parent no matter what they have done to you. Not that close. At the end of the day, that's your blood. That's your parent. So I didn't start questioning anything because I'm just like, okay, that's her daddy. They just want to be cool until fast forward like six months into re the relationship. She started sleeping over his house more. And me, I'm thinking in my head, you barely know these people. And it took you two months to get to know him a little bit for you to start sleeping over his house like you is. And I'm not just saying four days out of the month, once to six days out of the month. No, it went to like 10, 15 days out of the month she was sleeping over there. So me, I'm getting a little suspicious because you don't know these people. That's really my biggest thing. So eventually she bring me over there to meet her daddy or whatever. And I meet the whole family. I meet him, both of her brothers, and the stepmama that's pregnant. They all seemed cool or whatever, but her daddy was giving me weird vibes. The vibes that he liked, little kid vibes, like he had them wondering eyes. So I told her, I'm just like, girl, you was right about your daddy. He is a little weird. And for the first time, she started getting so defensive, like, girl, don't talk about my daddy, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. I'm just like, oh, okay. So after she did all that, I ain't talking about him no more. I ain't even want to go over there because I felt uncomfortable. But let's fast forward to when things start getting a little freaky. So one day I was at her mama's house and we was chilling on her bed or whatever. We was both on our phones watching TikTok. So her mama come in the door and she gives her like this little bag or whatever. So she opened the bag and she look in and she look at me and she just tossed the bag to the side. So me, I'm nosy as hell. I'm like, what's in that bag? She like, girl, just some condoms that I got in health class. So me, I'm curious. I still want to see. So I'm like, okay, let me see one of them condoms. So she give it to me. First of all, the condom is this big. 
So I opened a condom. Why the condom this long? I'm like, I just got one of those bags the other week. The condoms did not look like that. They was this small and this long. So I'm like, ain't no way that they give you them condoms. What they give you them for? She's talking about, well, you just got the same condoms last week. Why you asking me all these questions? So I ignore her and I threw it to the back of my head because, ho, you sneaky. Okay, so after I found the condoms, I just let it go and I ain't think about it no more. So when we got back to school, I was kind of noticing that she was getting closer to one of the friends that we used to be friends with before we had got together. But remember, I told y'all, we didn't really talk to those people no more. So I was kind of getting, like, suspicious. So my suspicions led me all the way to that phone. And while I was looking through it, I seen that the most recent message was from the friend that we used to be friends with. Her name was Kay. So off the bat, I could tell that they was talking about some weird shit. So the first thing that I see is my girlfriend sending a positive pregnancy test to Kay. And then Kay turns around and says, oh my God, who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? So I start laughing like I'm thinking it's fate until I scroll up. And she responds with, girl, I don't know, but this not right. I got to get rid of it. So I'm just sitting there like, this cannot be true. Like, not my girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm just scrolling up in the messages because I'm like, they had to mention who the baby daddy could possibly be. Because I know it's not just no random. So I'm thinking if it's like somebody from our school, somebody that she met a while ago. Because at this point, I'm like, who is this girl? So I scroll up some more, like, I'm scrolling deep, y'all, because I'm trying to see every single message, and I'm, like, fast glancing it, like. And I come up onto one message, Kay say, she said, girl, we too young for a train, you bold. A train? So then my girlfriend say, girl, that was two Mondays ago, let it go. So I'm like, but two Mondays ago, you was at your daddy house all day. After that, y'all, I put it down. I didn't want to see no more. I just waited till the next day because school was the next day. That was a Thursday, and school was going on Friday. And I confronted Kay. I'm just like, so you knew this down the third was going on, and you ain't tell me? Because I felt so betrayed because I'm like, we was all friends. Like, we was cool, and I'm thinking that you cool with me, but you know it's some shit going on behind my back, and you didn't tell me. That shit is weird. Yeah, You're a weirdo. So I'm just like, girl, you might as well tell me the rest because I'm going to find out on my own anyway. Y'all, she started telling me everything. So she said the first time my ex-girlfriend started doing it was a year into our relationship. And that's kind of weird because remember I told y'all I was noticing that she was going over there more. But she started sleeping over there more too. So my first initial thought was maybe she just needed somebody over there like somebody coming to her daddy house because when she be at her mama house, I be over there. So I cut Kay off and I'm like, well, who is this person that she's sleeping with? Is this somebody in the school? Like, who is this person? Do I know them? She like, yeah, you know them. She like, yeah, you know them. So I'm like, is it one of our friends? So I'm trying to get her to tell me who it was. Cause I'm like, is it somebody that's our friend and whatever? She not saying nothing. Like her voice just started getting real little and she started looking around and I'm just like, what are you getting nervous for? Like, what are you trying to tell me? So Kay said she hasn't been <laughs> messing around with just one dude. She's been messing around with three and you know all three. So I'm like, how do I know them? Like, let me know. Just please let me know. Let me know now. Like, I'm getting irritated and I just want to know. And she says because all three of them are related. Part four on how I found out my ex-girlfriend of four years was cheating on me with her father and her twin brothers. So after she told me that I knew all three of them because all three of them were related, I knew exactly who she was talking about. I knew all three. When I tell y'all, I was so sick to my stomach. <laughs> Imagine you having a girlfriend and you think that y'all locked in, but whole time she's sleeping with three of her family members. Not one, but three. So after that, I just start asking a whole bunch of questions because I'm trying to get as much information as possible because I need to see if this shit is really true. So the first thing I ask is, how long have they been doing this? And she tells me they've been doing it for like over two years now. So I get mad because I'm like, 
you been knowing they've been doing this shit for two years and you didn't tell me and we were supposed to be friends? Are you fucking serious? Then she started making all these sap ass excuses, but I didn't want to hear shit. I just wanted to ask more questions. So the second thing I asked her was, did the stepmama know this shit? Because I could always peep that the stepmama ain't really like me. So I asked her, did she know? She's talking about, yeah, but she ain't know about the daddy. She only knew about the two brothers. You're okay with having an 18 year old sleep with your 13 year old sons. But not even that, y'all half related. So then the last thing I asked her And they is, ran a train on How long have her and the daddy been doing it? Because I really need to know that. So she said they had only been doing it for about six months. But right after she told me that my girlfriend had started walking up. And I'm looking at her like. And Kay looking at her like. And before I could even say anything, she already knew what was up. So her and Kay start fighting, baby and all. So when they finally got pulled apart, they were arguing back and forth and Kayla was calling her a pedophile, a brother fucker, a daddy fucker. And then my girlfriend turns around and say, but you fucked your daddy too. What? So you telling me whole time y'all was bonding over fucking y'all daddy? Like what type of shit is that? And I just started bursting out laughing and I had to walk away. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my player partner, Lucky Wheels of Deals and Keys Lit. Make sure y'all hit the link down below. We got the custom underscore freaks. Well, we got the most losing team in the NFC this year. <laughs> Man, make sure y'all hit that like button and let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. Hit the link down below for the custom underscore freaks, man. And you can uh, support the Dallas Cowboys because they need it somewhere. Let's get into it, man. Yo. Yo. Imagine bonding with your friend over the fact that y'all both had sex with your dad. That's pretty wild, ain't it? Pretty sure it's people out there like it. Uh, they're all in counseling. Okay. Anyway, the fact that them girls just started fighting right there just that just turned the story up. They just she just knew what was up. We we finna lock. Why would you tell my girlfriend this? Girl, you don't get your nasty ass. Listen, man. I'm not saying that. But I'm, it, it's it's wrong. But you drag your girlfriend around through this for two years. You know the family don't like her. You're sleeping with your 13-year-old twin brothers. They, you let them run a train on you. First of all, the mama even knowing that is crazy. And then the daddy want a piece too? Yo, hey, man, listen. Oh, man, as a father of all girls, yo, nah, nah. No, let me tell y'all. My um, first of all, my kids, my kids, they can't bring their friends over here, cause it ain't a woman in this house. So as long as there's not a woman in this house, I mean, besides the girls, my daughters, um, uh, nah, yeah, yeah, uh, nah, your friends can't stay tonight, okay? Uh, that's just a fact, okay? Um. I also, like, because, you know, I'm just thinking about it. Like, sometimes I don't even like, I, I like to know where my daughter is going, okay? If somebody got a dad, do he is, do his dad, do her dad. Got a wife, got a girlfriend, she lived there, she gonna be there. Who all gonna be there? I need to speak to some parents, okay? Because I'm not leaving my child around, no man, at all, okay? That's just a fact. Okay, um, so the fact that the, dad, the woman was going over there and she was sleeping with her dad is just insane. Sleeping with her brothers is even more wild. I mean, it's just, it's equally wild. But as a father of girls, I, I, I just tell you, um, uh, man, I, 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 that just don't, this, this type of stuff infuriates me. And 
as messy drama as it is, um, this is the type of shit that'll make you want to punch somebody, shoot somebody, stab somebody, hurt somebody. Okay? Um, because, look, man, I, I'm not playing that with kids, and I don't think anybody else should play that with kids, but the ones that do deserve a special place in hell, the hard way. Okay? Um, the father taking advantage of his daughter is crazy. Bro need to be smacked. Okay? Matter of fact, she needs to report the man. I don't even know why she telling TikTok. You better go report that nigga. Sleeping with his with your family should be I think it is a crime. And then sleeping with your daughter influencing her is a crime. Her sleeping with her younger brothers is a crime. All of them need to be in prison crime. The mama need to be in prison for accessory to the crime. Send all of them to jail. Hell or jail. I don't care. Pick a, pick a, pick a destination. Okay? Um, I, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I'm kind of lost for words. I'm pretty sad about the situation. But then, you know, I don't know what type of situation that this girl is that it was in that would make her run to sleep with her younger brothers and her daddy like why is her younger brothers even aware of a, a train i'm pretty sure the girl is kind of you know up on her sex game she's already a, a lesbian in high school so she a lesbian in high school she already got some experience but your brothers is that that was your only option mm -mm. Mm -mm. i'll beat the shit out of my daughter you touch your sister Girl, if you don't, what the hell is you thinking? This is not what we do. Then I send her to the mental hospital. Because cause you, because doing that to your siblings, you got to be a, a special kind of stupid crazy. It's just. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think about this sick story. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.